Yep. Yep, folks, you heard that correctly. Disney parks are closed. Disney World is closed. So that means the Disney trip I was to be going on with the marching band is canceled. I already filmed a video all about the cancellation process and what our refund could possibly be or what's happening with that. Please watch that video. While filming that video, I also filmed a section talking about the process of how the trip was being planned, but more likely what was the schedule going to look like once we got there going as a group and going with the marching band where there's performances and workshops. I filmed that together with the refund part of the video, but realized it was too much information and too long. So what I'm going to do is I am going to cut that part out of the refund, which I already did, and I'm going to put it in this video. <laughs> So here we go, I'm going to talk about how I became a chaperone, but I'm also going to talk about the process of what our scheduling was going to look like getting down there and once we were there. Here we go. Okay, so I'm going to roll right into it. I'm going to try not to talk in circles the best I can, so let's see how this goes. So how did this come about for me to be a chaperone? There are some things, like I said, there's confidentiality and privacy that I am going to keep. However, I will explain to you how I found out on a Facebook page for that school. They were advertising, they were doing fundraising t-shirts to go to Disney World. When I saw that, I, no joke, flipped out. I was like, what? The marching band is going on a Disney trip? <laughs> Like, and I, I really freaked out. So what I did was I sent a message to the mom who was doing the t-shirt fundraiser. I explained who I was, talked a little bit more about the situation. She seemed like she had no problem with it. But what I wanted to do was contact someone higher up to make sure it was okay. Because I had to put down a $75 non-refundable deposit. And I didn't want to go and put a deposit and then get told, hey, you're not a parent of a kid. You don't have anyone in the marching band. So, you know, what's the deal? That's part of the privacy and other stuff that I'm not going to get into. I talked to someone higher up and they said it was completely okay. At that time frame, I want to say this was end of August, first week of September about. They already did their informational meeting, so I didn't get to go to that. They explained to me, yeah, we only have like 12 chaperones right now. That would be awesome for you to come. So what I did was for the last several months, instead of just writing a check to the school, I was uploading a PayPal electronic payment online with my credit card. And I was paying $130 each month. So fast forward, uh, not a lot of information was getting set out. I was getting a little disappointed that they weren't doing another chaperone meeting or more informational meeting. So in February, I began to go to the board meetings for the band that anyone can go to. So I went to their meeting and got a ton of information, was super pumped up. Heard that uh, we were definitely performing in the Magic Kingdom Parade that Friday. Oh wait, I forgot to tell you the dates that we were going to be going. The dates we were going to go was April 14th through the 18th. That was the school district's spring break. So we were told that that Friday, which would have been the 17th of April, we were going to perform at Magic Kingdom with the marching band. And we also had our kick line and flag team going as well. We were going to perform in the parade, have our uniforms on, and it was going to be amazing. I couldn't wait to see them walking down and marching down Main Street with their uniforms on and everything. We also were informed that we did get a workshop. That Wednesday, we were going to be able to have the band go into a music workshop. From what I've heard from people in the past was they get to go into a sound studio soundstage and they get to be with a Disney director 
and they get to get directed to play one of the Disney scores and maybe in the background have like the actual movie playing. The sad part was that we got informed at the meeting that the band members could get in there, but it was very restricted and only like a few chaperones were allowed in there. And of course, I'm like, ah, uh, it's gonna be the parents going in there, but with me having music experience, being in the fine arts, I really wanted to be able to go in there. So yes, we did find out that we had a performance and a workshop. We also got to talk about the logistics. From the, I will say we're from the Cleveland area, I will at least say that. From the Cleveland, Ohio area, we were gonna be taking a coach bus that was gonna leave around eight or nine o'clock in the morning on the 14th of April from the high school. And we were gonna travel down to Florida. We were gonna drive all the way through. I did not know how I was gonna sleep on the bus. Heard stories that in the past, teachers, directors, kids would be like sleeping on the floor, that type of stuff. Uh, so I didn't know how that was gonna go. We we're gonna sleep the whole night, drive all the way down, and then that morning, like at six in the morning or something, we were gonna eat at, at a Golden Corral. Not sure if it was the Orlando one or whatnot. And then that day we were going to have the first part of the day at Magic Kingdom. Then we were gonna have to leave to get instruments, get board on buses, and then go to the Disney workshop on property. We could not go back to the parks, so we were gonna try to do swimming, watch a movie, maybe go to pizza, that type of relaxing stuff, and get the shower. <laughs> yeah, I was literally going to stores researching how I could get different stuff to clean off, like um, shower wipes, um, sprays, and type of stuff because we were not going to be able to get a hold of a shower until early evening on that Wednesday when we were leaving on a bus from our city Tuesday morning. We were going to get to go to Hollywood Studios that Thursday. Those of you who don't know, Hollywood Studios is jam-packed with so much new stuff. I already went to Toy Story Land. <laughs> There's Forky. <laughs> the new Mickey and Minnie Runaway Railway just opened March 4th. I was so pumped to try to get in line or wait or something for that. Star Wars First into a world where mouse rules apply. Goofy, pay attention! Now open at Walt Disney World Resort. For that, Star Wars Galaxy Edge opened. They have Smuggler's Run. That's with the Millennium Falcon, and then they also have the Ri um, Rise of the Resistance, which everyone's saying that's one of the best rides Disney has ever made. Most high tech. Seen many videos of it. Not a Star Wars fan, but that looks amazing. This outpost is in danger from the First Order. Thank you for joining the cause. And may the Force be with us. You ready? Are you? Friday then we were gonna go back to Magic Kingdom and have our parade do that stuff then at night probably around like 10 o'clock or midnight get on the buses and then travel all the way back to Ohio and get back into the Cleveland area of Ohio Saturday night so that was how we were gonna do our trip if any of you who are watching this that you know you're going on a band trip 
that was the type of schedule. We did know what we were going to do with the food was we were going to have a meal ticket. So the kids basically had something where they kn we knew they were going to be getting a meal. And then I think the second option was they were either going to get cash for a second meal in, in for a second meal in the day in the park, tongue twister, or we were going to give them a second meal ticket. So that's what the meal plans were. And then it was like a grab and go breakfast at the hotel in the morning. Uh, and then on the bus for travel days, they would be given cash probably to stop at fast food restaurants. We were going to be staying at All Star Music. So we already knew that. Thank you everyone for joining me for this video. I hope that something I said either about a schedule type thing or any other information you might find useful or that you enjoyed. I'm sorry that I wasn't able to actually go on the trip to test out that schedule to see how well does it work out. How well does it work out driving straight down from, you know, Ohio all the way down to Florida with not staying at a hotel? How is it going um, long periods of time where you can't get to your hotel meal plan situations, um, getting to workshops on property. There's a lot of logistics that I wish I could have known. Fortunately, I could not. Right now, we're still in the process of waiting to hear if anything happened to our package. If you don't know what I'm talking about the package, then make sure you go and watch my other video with the refund cancellation part because I tell a whole story about a package that's very valuable. And yes, I did another shirt change. I'm wearing my Haunted Mansion shirt. Just any way to bring in some Disney magic during this time. So please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and send this video to anyone that you think would have an interest in it or would like to know more information. Bye.